So I guess there's two uh, sort of twists in this permutations question. One, we've got a repeated letter. There are two I's. And two, we're told that those I's need to be separated from each other by at least one other letter. It's actually kind of a good thing to get restrictions like that because that means that there's not going to be an impossibly high number of ways to deal with those eyes. And when that's the case, when there's enough limitations around a specific letter, I like to just draw out all the options for dealing with that letter. So let's see, five, five letters, I'll do five slots. One, two, three, four, five. And let's think of all the ways to deal with those eyes. Well, we're told they have to be at least, they have to be separated by at least one other letter. That means it could be exactly one letter. So let's think of all the ways to separate them by one letter. I could have an I here and an I here. That's separated by one, that works. Or I could have I here, I here, or one, two, three, four, five, I and I. And of course, crucially, it's at least one other letter, so it doesn't have to be exactly one. It could be, it could be separated by two letters. So it could be I and I, and there's another way to do that. We could have I and I, and finally, of course, they could be separated by three letters, and there's only one way to do that, I and I. And that's everything. That's all the ways to deal with those I's. So we're making good progress here. And I guess now we just think about what's remaining, the DGT. And I guess the good news is in each of these options, there's only, now there's only three slots for those three letters. So we know the D, G, and T fit those slots. Of course, we don't know that they're in this order. It could be DGT or uh, DTG or G, etc., etc., and well, actually, this is just a regular permutations question, right? This is just arranging three letters. And how many ways are the how many ways are there to arrange three letters, three different letters? Well, that's just three factorial. Regular permutations question, right? And three factorial is six. So there's six ways for just this option that. Uh, just this way of dealing with the eyes, there's six ways to deal with that. It's going to be the same here, right? There's going to be six ways to arrange my D, G, and T in the remaining three. So six here, six here, six, 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 and all together, what is that? We've got six versions of six, so six times six is 36 different ways to arrange these letters with that restriction of the eyes being separated by at least one.